Because when I asked him, I said, how do you feel about women? When you, when you think about going out to meet women, talk to women, flirt with women, he goes, oh, his whole face lit up, his heart opened. And he went, oh my God, I love women. They're so beautiful. They're so amazing. And instantly he saw it. And then I went to the first guy, the guy who was struggling. I said, well, what do you feel when you think about meeting women? And he shrunk and he got dark and he got heavy. So then I took it a step further and I said, what do you feel when you think about yourself? Hey, this is Brian and I'm coming to you from uh, Orange County, California this week, uh, visiting a good friend of mine. And I want to talk to you about something I saw today. I saw in one of my classes uh, that I was training online and it was actually beautiful to watch. So let's dive in and take a look at these two clients and really see the comparison and why one of the clients killed it with women, had an amazing life amazing dating life and the other client is struggling and it became very very clear and this could be you so with that said before i get started i want to invite you to like subscribe share those shares really helped us to grow the channel definitely comment we'd love to hear your comments now with that said let's dive right in so it was interesting it was an interesting call today let's talk about the client that was killing it first the client that was killing it we'll call him he now, he was a client of mine many years ago. He came to me for dating. Now he's come to me to change his business and money reality. He's opening a restaurant and he wants to kill it uh, just like he did with women. And he wants to really shift his life in this area and, and really feel the abundance. So that's what we're working on. But in the process, it was really beautiful to have him there because we really got to see the contrast of what his way of thinking about women is to everybody else's. Because when I asked him, I said, how do you feel about women when you when you think about going out to meet women talk to women flirt with women he goes oh his whole face lit up his heart opened and he went oh my god i love women they're so beautiful they're so amazing and instantly he saw it and then i went to the first guy the guy who was struggling i said so what do you feel when you think about meeting women and he shrunk and he got dark and he got heavy so then i took it a step further and i said what do you feel when you think about yourself, we're going to call him G. So G, what do you feel when you, when you, when you picture G in relationship to women? And he shrunk. He didn't like himself. He's like, nah, nah. What do you feel as a man? Do you feel men as being a man and men in general? How do you feel about that? No, men are bad. Men are evil. That whole BS that's in society today. He got that program in his head. And I said, what do you feel about your body when you take your clothes off around a woman? And he was like, oh, got immediately shamed. Matter of fact, he had been to the lake the weekend before with some friends and this beautiful woman he didn't know showed up, was in a bikini, had some tattoos. He said she was so sexy. And, and he said, I was wanted her attention constantly. I needed that validation. And I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to be. I was scared. And I was looking at him and I realized, I asked him some more questions. We went a little deeper. And that part of him that didn't feel good as a man, didn't feel good as who he was being. He was afraid to take off uh, his shirt in front of the woman. Really just wanted her attention because deep down inside he wanted power. He wanted to feel her power. You see, she had so much power in the environment. Everybody noticed her. Everybody wanted to give her attention. He wanted to have that attention. He wanted that validation. He was envious of her. And if he dug deeper, a deep down part of himself actually hated her was angry at her for having all that power and he wanted to know how to get it. It's really interesting when you look at that because if we contrast that all the way back up to E, the client at the top of the scale, when I asked him again, what do you think of women? Oh, they're beautiful. They're amazing. I love being around them. I appreciate them. And then I asked E, I said, well, let me ask you a question. What do you think of you as a person? Oh, I like myself. I think I'm a good man. What do you think of you as a man? Masculinity is great. I think it protects the world. You know, there was this, he didn't say those exact words. I can't remember his exact words, but there was a sense of loving being male. Then I said, what do you think of your body? And I was very curious about this one because he's an interesting guy. He's only five foot two. He's a little chubby. And he came back immediately with, you know, when I take off my shirt around a woman, I automatically hear that song. I know you think I'm sexy and I, I can't remember the exact lyrics, but it was something like that. He started to laugh and I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, I know I don't have the best body in the world. So I just have fun with it. I play with it. I dance with it. He's also short. 
And he said, yeah, when I have to stand on a stool to kiss a girl because she's so tall, it turns me on. I love it. And he says, that used to make me really insecure before I did all the work. And he said, now it's just, it's just fun. It's just sexy. And what I'm noticing between those two, you got this five foot two kind of chubby guy and he's talking about the fact that he loves women. He loves being himself. He loves being male. He has fun with his body and he had more women than he knew what to do with. He dated like crazy. After he got over all his insecurities, he did start with a bunch of insecurities. He did start with pushing. He did get through them. I want you guys to know that he did the internal work and it wasn't easy at first, but he went in and he fixed all these areas. And on the other side of it, he became a little machine. He loved it so much so that he ended up meeting the woman of his dreams. And now he's married and uh, she's beautiful. She's a sweetheart and I know her well, but when you see the light in him, and the way he lights up when he talks about his wife, women in general, it's beautiful to watch. When he talks about being male and being masculine, being the contrast of those women and knowing that women are really, and he knows this in his heart, women really want a masculine male that knows how to be a male. And that's what he does. He loves being a man in his five foot two body. Then we go back to the other guy and he's ashamed of all of that. And that's what we're working on. We're going to get him through all of that. And trust me, he will. It probably won't be easy work because it's a lot of stuff. Now, both the guys in between, the other guys that were in the group, they were somewhere in between. They're varying successes and different levels of growth. But these two were the extreme. So the last guy, E, we're going to go back to him, the guy that was good with women. He had an interesting experience. And this is what I want to tell you about. And I want to invite you to take a really deep look at yourself in these areas too. And we're going to cover them at the end here and we're going to cover what to do. But this last guy, E, he said his wife the other day, they're really working on getting himself to allow abundance in and, and with his business and become more successful with his business. And for some reason, you know, sometimes women do this stuff, different types of women. Everybody's a little different. His wife said, I want you to go out and flirt with women one night. I want to see if you've got it. And she said, and then you just come back to me. You can't do anything and, uh, and tell me about every bit of it. And he, she said, I know you love it. And I want you to just let some of that energy in and really understand what it's like to, because you, you let women in so easy. I want you to understand what it's like to let energy in with women and then apply that to money with a success with, with your business, you know, because that's what he's working on. That's what he's all about. She said, yeah, let's do it. So she went out to dinner with him and then she left. She went out to dinner with him and his friend and she said, I'm going to head home, just be home in a few hours. And he said, immediately it started. I could feel this girl looking at me and I started flirting with her. Pretty soon we're talking to her she comes back to my table three or four times. She came over to the table. Um, then I, and then he met another couple. <laughs> I think he met four or five women that night. One woman asked for his phone number. Then he met a woman in the parking lot on the way out. He said it was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. So he just stopped and just lit up and started talking to her. And he said, I said, as I was sitting there talking to her and I'm, I'm getting this last phone number, I'm flirting with this last girl and I'm walking to the car to go see my wife. I realized, um, I still got it, man, because he's been married a few years now. And this light came across his face and he went home to his wife and he said he had a great night with his wife after that. Now, I want you to all sit with this idea. This guy is good with women because he likes being male. He loves being a man. He loves being himself. He loves his own personality, who he's being. He has fun with his own body. He's not stuck up on this idea that you have to have a perfect body. Since he doesn't believe it, they don't believe it. And he loves women. We got four things there. And he's really worked those four things out. That's why he's successful. That's why his wife loves him. That's why his wife trusted him. And that's why they had a great time together after he came back. And I want to invite you to this idea. Can you have that yourself, do you think? What are you rating these four categories? If you had to rate them from zero to 100, 100 being 100% solid in these areas, in each of these four categories, where do you think you would rate yourself? Do you work on any of these categories? Do you do the deep work? And I'd say if you're not at a solid 70%, that's a C in school, right? Your grade for each one of these categories, then get it up there, man. Do the inner work, the stories, the beliefs, let it all go. Get my revealing process. There'll be a link in the description below and learn how to let go of the stored emotions and work on each of these four areas on a regular basis. I'm going to be doing an approaching video that'll stimulate all four of these areas soon, talking about how you desensitize 
these areas by approaching and flirting with women. It's not easy. For the guy that was good with women, E, it wasn't easy at first. He did the work. He wanted it. He chose it. And he transformed. And all of you can too. So in the comments below, I want to hear where you rate in these four areas. And I want to also love to hear your commitment, what you're going to do over the next month, three months, six months, how long it's going to be to work on these areas. Check out the revealing process or check out some of my YouTube videos on revealing and letting go so that you can learn to let go of those stories that are holding you back and those programs. You can do it. And then also I want to invite you into visualizing. I want you to visualize if you had 100% in all four of these categories, the guy you would be. See that guy on a regular basis. Learn to feel that through the heart, through your embodiment, through the stomach, through the turn on. Learn to really be with that visualization and release everything that's not that guy. I'm not saying you'll get there immediately or it'll happen overnight, but I want you to visualize if it's already happened. I want you to see it as if it's already happened. And in time, whether that's one month, two months, three months, six months, even if it takes a year, then, then you can get there. You can become that guy. Some of us have to do deep work. But I'm going to also promise you something else. If you do the deep work, and even if it takes a whole year, what will happen on the other side is nothing short of astounding. Not only will your dating life radically improve, but other areas of your life are going to completely transform too. Relationships with family, friends, every part of your life transforms in doing this deep inner work. And uh, with that said, some of you are going to possibly need extra support. And if you want to contact my team or anybody, any one of us about that extra support, please do that. We'd love to help you out. And if you want to check out the Letting Go book by Hawkins, because you want something that's inexpensive to start with, do that. If you want to check out my revealing course, which I think is really powerful, powerful course for change, link in the description. There's lots of resources. That's all I'm saying. There's lots of ways to make these changes. But you have to make the commitment first and the resource, the way the path shows up. If you're waiting for somebody to do it for you, it's just not going to happen. Sorry. So with that said, hopefully you like this video. Definitely comment below. I want to hear where you're at. I want to hear what your commitment is. I'd love to get a discussion going. It helps everybody to grow. It helps everybody to learn. And I'm going to be checking those comments out the first week and really seeing what you guys, and, and probably I check them out for a few weeks after, but I check them out a lot the first week. So with that said, remember only the confident really live. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.